Good morning, everybody. I hope you all are having a great day today. It's getting close to that time, so I figured I might as well break out the coffee mug. In today's video, we have not one, but three Oaktron Vintage 8-inch speakers. These all came from the same place. They came from somebody's house that was in a bar basement. There was four of them, but I'm actually using one of them. It's an extension speaker for my jukebox using a 70 volt transformer. Tapped at 10 watts. These speakers must have been up in someone's ceiling for a while as I think they had to renovate because of water damage. Unfortunately, three out of the four speakers all had things happen to them, but they all still work. We'll start with this one. This one had water damage somehow I'm assuming it was just up in the ceiling and got leaked down the cone. But it does work, and this one does not have any rips in the cone, but it's stained, unfortunately. Doesn't look that pretty. They had this one tapped at 5 watts. This next one is the only one that is not ripped or anything. These speakers are all the 8H8 brand speaker by Oaktron. 918 is the Oaktron EIA code. In 051 it looks like it says. So these speakers were either made in the year of 1950 or 1960. That's tough to judge because they used the felt more so in the 50s than they did in the 60s. So I'm guessing it's a 60s speaker. But this one is in perfect condition. This one was also tapped at just 5 watts. <clears throat> Here's another one that looks like it's in good condition, but unfortunately the surround had some issues. This one was tapped at 10 watts, and the other 10 watt speaker, which I'm using in my jukebox, also had surround issues. They separated from the edge to the actual cone. I'm assuming it's just from the flexing over and over again. But I did notice that this side is broken right here. So we're going to repair this one. And I'm going to show you what I use to repair my speakers. This is what I use to repair my speakers. It is called service cement. It's speaker cone repair. I actually get this at my electronics shop. Works pretty good. And I'm going to show you how I actually fixed it. I try to do all the repairs on the speakers from the back side just so I just so it looks better. I like how speakers look, so I want to keep them looking as good as possible. Let me just see if I can get this over here. Let me raise this up over there so you can actually see what I'm doing. That's where we're going to be fixing all of that. And I hope you guys are able to see what I'm doing. It's, it's a little tricky to kind of do right here, but let's give it a shot. Cone dripped all the way from down there. This stuff comes with its own brush application. I don't like to put a lot on because it does leak to the front. I just got to see where the rip was. If my hair wasn't always in my face.
Generally, if you do it from the back, not much of it leaks through the front. You can see a little bit right there. And I'm gonna let this dry and hopefully that should have been enough. And I might need just a little bit more in the corner. Let me put a little bit more just to kind of make sure. I don't want it ripping again. dry and we'll test the rest of them out that one will be the last one we test Start with this one first. Nice felt dust cap. It's got a rather big Alnico magnet on the back of it. It did stuff good back in the day. It appears to be a one inch voice coil with a nice size spider which allows for good cone movement. I really like the sound of these speakers. They have a very good tone. The bass is very good. The only thing I think they're lacking a bit is treble. But almost all vintage speakers seem to lack treble. I love blue. The blue cone and the blue speakers are awesome. Give it a little bit of volume, shall we? Tinsel leads. I like the grommets. You took another one up. Mm -hmm. 
Even better sound with two of them. I really like the sound of these speakers. Oaktron's probably my second favorite speaker brand for vintage. Transformer, 10 watts. the one I repaired does. See if that's ready. Looks good. Thank you.